<laughs> Look, you telling me that's not crash out? Looks like she just came from a rave and strapped on some bullets. And that's pretty much exactly Jinx's character. <laughs> that was good. I'm Jay, bro. It seems y'all are really liking the League of Legends cinematic reactions. But here's the thing. I've watched all the other cinematics at some point or another. Some of them has been a while. I don't know if some of y'all know. Not only am I a Valorant player, but I'm also an artist. Shocker. <laughs> Recently, I've been making these little like animatics using voice lines from from Valorant characters that I like. What's this? Oh shit! No peeking. Wow. <sighs> they will cower. No peeking. <laughs> But anyway, that made me think, what if I watch the cinematics again, but then I try to break them down from an artistic perspective? Yeah, hopefully y'all are down for this. First, we're going to watch it, and then I'm going to go through. I have my I have my XP pin tablet here. I'm going to go through and uh, try and point out things that I notice. Oh my God, the Riot, was that the old Riot Games logo? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, this is classic. This is classic, bro. Damn. Wait. over a decade ago that's actually wild to think the lip bite nah that's that's so this is how you do characterization Oh my god. She's spray paint of. I was about to say Rhino. Whatever that is. This is like. It's so crazy how good of a job Arcane did. God. I like how for reading purposes they have to make these all robots. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was all a dream. It's so crazy how much inspiration in this like went into arcane i think the best thing about this is it's just purely a character piece it just perfectly describes jinx even if you don't listen to the lyrics like visually look at this first shot she's riding a missile that's it the glove the glove is coming on this shot is already crazy like this is how we start out but i like how the background focuses focuses it makes you like it makes you sit there like wait a minute hold on <laughs> wait this is a person hello when it comes to music and animation i really like the smallest thing like if you put something in sync with the beat like i'm already in i'm already locked in when you start out you see you see her in the air but you're like wait where are these missiles going they pan out and it's like a whole this big nice city and you're like wait a minute this is a villain <laughs> are you just sending missiles at this place like what's going on this is a incredible establishing shot too i love how valorant cards look like this too like the battle pass cards and stuff they have this like almost painterly style it's like 2d 3d it looks like a painting whatever artists worked on this they clearly like love this character oh! Jinx is Fuhrer Crash Out Simulator. She looks like she's genuinely having the time of her life just blowing shit up. Oh, the lighting is cool too, how it gets closer to you. She's over here tearing up bots in the Valorant range. This right here is probably the highlight of the whole video for me, I'm not gonna lie. Like her face is different with each flash. It kind of reminds me of the scene in, in the Batman. He cuts out all the lights and they start blasting machine guns at him. But also look at her faces here. Oh my, oh my hold on. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> look you're telling me that's not crash out she's full lip biting but then look at the facial expressions here it looks like the you know the the vince mcmahon there's one of the there's a meme like this <laughs> you know what i mean you see it the craziest form of like awe and wonder blasting a machine gun the next flash is even more devious this face is insane it's like the perfect angle for it too you know what i mean and then like the the the, the way she's looking downward like this it just makes it feel like a devious person is in control of the situation. You know what I mean? You don't want to be anywhere near this, bro. These little facial expressions don't even have to be here. This is a music video. You could literally just not include this much characterization and it'll be fine. Oh my God. She gets progressively more terrifying as it goes. It's something about like, look how she's dancing with this ro with this like robot that she just murdered. What was the storyboarding process for this? Just, just her hitting a Bronco on a Rhino. We talk about how, how well they did like the paint drip effect on this it actually looks full painted on like the splash is coming down here first of all how does she even get this thing <laughs> how, how was she even able to do that i never think about what's around built over look at this like this shot right here if you honestly needed one shot in this entire thing to describe jinx is this league of legends she scratched out leg legends and put jinx nerf hammer dingy give me people the character design her boots are almost styled like a gesture a jester what gesture what? jester jinx is a character that has no concept of boundaries like when you look at her here the first thing you notice is like she's damn near naked the way she wears her personality on her she doesn't care she's like wearing like one fishnet on top of it it's just straight artillery these gloves look tactical she literally looks like she just came from a rave and strapped on some bullets and that's pretty much exactly jinx's character she's designed like she has nothing to lose because she doesn't she's a pure crash out at this point and it's like it's like she has almost no concept of danger too look at her gloves her gloves are different is that a sock it looks like she put a hole in one end of a sock wait she's she's like strapped up right now they leave a lot of whites in her eyes which is like classic way to to make somebody look unhinged the eye color thing is also insane arcane watchers know it doesn't seem like that deep but the fact that her toys are bombs i don't even i don't know if this is meant to be that deep but she's standing on a graveyard of toys like there's no difference between the bombs the toys and the people she fights it's like it's all the same type shit i don't know if that's meant to mean anything like that nope. but that's just how it feels which is kind of cool and then just straight vandalism you vandalize the logo itself see it's dope how it recon recontextualizes so much once you watch arcane it made it so unnecessarily deep though like in, in a good way arcane really locked that down that was my thoughts on get jinxed if you want to see more of these let me know tell me in the comments which one because i also really like overwatch cinematics valorant cinematics let me know i am down to give my two cents but hey thanks for coming through and watching i appreciate you i'll see y'all next time